Beware of stomach worms. Worms in the stomach of children. Worm infection in children are quite common and spread easily. However, it's hard to tell how common these infections are because they often have no symptoms and go unreported. One out of every five people must have at least one type of worm infection. At the same time, it is considered even more common in young children. Types of insects There are many types of stomach worms, but mainly they are divided into two types of categories, the round worm and the tapeworm. They affect the body according to their capacity. How to know? Symptoms of infection Most worm infestations do not show any symptoms or these symptoms are so mild that they go unnoticed depending on which worm infestation your baby has and how severe it is. There are some common signs of symptoms that your baby may have like loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting and weakness starts happening. When the larvae of insects reach the lungs, asthma can also occur. Which test is done to detect worm infestation? The best way to detect worms in a baby is to get him examined by a doctor. The doctor may order one of the following tests to check for worm infestation in the baby. Stool examination Sticky tape test Look under the fingernails Checking with cotton swab Ultrasound examination Worm infection treatment Almost all worm infections can be treated with oral medications. Depending on the type of infections, your child has the doctor may start medicine or deworming treatment. Infection protection By adopting the above mentioned tips, you can keep the child safe from insect infestation. Always keep in mind that the baby should play in a clean and dry place. Don't let your child play in watery places such as mud, puddles, near lakes or dams. Wash hands thoroughly after using the toilet. If your child is older, teach them to wash their hands after every use of the toilet. Keep baby's nails short and clean. Bed bug eggs can get caught into long fingernails and spread throughout the house. Wash fruits and vegetables thoroughly in clean water. Take special care when washing green leafy vegetables as they can harbor soil and dust. Always drink clean water. You can either boil or filter the water. Hope you will definitely benefit from this video. Be sure to let us know your experiences next week. Thank you.